All right, hey guys. So I'm in my bathroom because my boyfriend's watching TV and it's loud and it's a mess in there because I did nothing all day today. And sorry, this is this apartment's just so weirdly put together. This is, I gotta make things work, okay? Ratchet style. So I did say I was going to try Rihanna's foundation, the Fenty. I got a sample from Sephora. And the shade they gave me was 470, Fenty 470. So I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm not wearing a primer. All I put on my face was um, a Vino lotion because I have my wig cap on too because I'm about to run to work. But my tire is flat, so I'm like, you know what? Let me do my makeup, wait for my boyfriend. So there's the sample. Sometimes I don't wear primers because like like I said, I'm a makeup rookie. You have heard me say it multiple times, so and usually because I put on so much moisturizer, I'm like the moisturizer could be a primer for itself. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna put some spots there. It's really liquidy. Like smooth. Like looking in the jar. I put some all over, okay. I'm gonna blend with like I'm broke, so I don't have like a bunch of beauty blenders and fancy foundation brushes. So what I do like to use a lot are these little sponges that you can get, you can get at the dollar store, big lots. Um, I like Publix texture, I like the way that the Publix sponges feel. I also get it from um, Target, Ulta, so you know, that's what I usually use to blend my makeup. And I have a few brushes that I have to wash, so they're just like in a Ziploc bag waiting for me to clean them. So I don't know, this lighting is not the best. I don't have nice fancy lighting and the natural lighting does not really come inside the apartment. So imagine when Hurricane Irma, it was literally pitch dark during the day. But it's, it feels very lightweight, which I like because I don't like to feel like I have a lot of stuff on my face. In case is there like a difference you can see? It looks like it smooths out my face. I must say, I was tempted to buy her, her um, beauty blender because I like the way it was shaped. But $16 was just not my budget. I bought her um, Killer Watt highlighter. I was like, I don't even have money right now. So so I guess you can build it up, but I don't feel like doing like, like feeling like building up any foundation because I'm just going in for like an hour to work. So I don't need to do that much. Um, but it looks nice. It, it looks like it's setting with my neck, like with my skin, right? I think it's, what do you guys think? Sorry, I don't have the greatest lighting. Um, I'm gonna use, this is Makeup Forever Full Cover um, Camouflage Cream. It's a uh, concealer. And this, the shade is number 18. Um, I'm not really good with where, how to do concealers and stuff like that. Like I said, makeup rookie, but I like to buy all this makeup. I just put it where I feel like I have the most uh, dark areas and usually I'll put it on my lid but the foundation looks like it, it's already setting onto my eyelids to set as like a uh, eyeshadow primer that's what I like to put some of this yeah all these stupid dark spots on my face and like my nose too like right here and my yeah hashtag eczema life Blending is not my favorite thing ever, but it works for me, but I hate it. All right, so this is um, 
think it's called Teeny Beauty by Teeny. I got this from Ipsy. It's just an eyeshadow, and the color is called Firestarter. You can see. So pretty. I just, like, a, because I'm a makeup rookie, I don't really know how to, like, blend shadows, so I just use, like, one color. Honestly, I don't even think this is my the, what I usually use to put eyeshadow on. Because I'm pressed for time, I'm not doing like a crazy like like a lot of makeup or anything. I'm gonna use the Killer Watt. I have the Ginger Binge in Moscow Mule. I'll put it upside down, and it looks pretty like it's already getting all dirty, and I use it like only two three times. I'm gonna use the um, ginger binge because I don't feel like doing like crazy, anything crazy. And I'm just gonna use my finger. <laughs> People teach me how to do makeup because I'm just kind of like, just winging it. But people always say I look nice or at least Snapchat makes me look really good. And I like to put some on my forehead. <laughs> and on my nose. I don't know what I'm doing guys. And I like to put some on my lip but I have to put on like my lipstick first. And maybe like above my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do my eyebrows today. Oh, <laughs> maybe I do now. I put it on the hair by an accident. And I just put it above. And I think that's my look for tonight. But look, I just have to put on my lip color, but that's about it. What do you guys think of the foundation? I like how it feels. I like how it, um, I like how it goes with my skin. for my lip. My lips are kind of dry, but I think I'll be okay. Hope it's not too dry. I'm going to use, this is from ColourPop. Do, 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 do. Color, is it backwards? I don't know, but it's called Mamacita, and it's like a nice red. just do that just so I'm not layering too much and it doesn't really like my lipstick is really cool ombre by itself oh and let me show you what I do with the highlighter I see my friends at work do it and they're pretty good with makeup so I I just believe in what they do so I just put a little right here just a little right there just to give it a little shine but you gotta keep patting it to blend it a little bit so it's not like all there. This wig ne been needing a comb out. Oh my gosh. Oh my, ooh. Okay, I don't have time to comb it all the way out. I'll do that tonight before bed. And I just throw this on. I don't even like secure it all the way. But I put the comb in the back. There's combs at the sides, but they kind of ripped. And my hair is always showing probably put a headband or something like that you can see my my widow's peak <laughs> so crazy and I sometimes don't even put on eyeliner so I'll put the mascara on since I have the video still on hopefully this video is not too long I was trying to make this a really quick quick thing um this is from Clinique it's the chubby lash I have it in jumbo jet it's like right now one of my favorite mascaras look at the wand it's really nice and I just put it on like that am I doing right am I putting on mascara right guys I mean I just feel like I'm weird when I do my makeup because I don't do it like how these great beautiful people do it 
I know Beyonce has like the Beyonce trick where you do this and you just blink, 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 blink to get the Beyonce lashes. But I, I got, I poked myself in the eye the other day, so I just stopped doing it. But I just know you blink, 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 blink. All right. Do you guys see a difference when I put on a mascara? Look at that. It like make my lashes like kabayom. So yeah, that's my make like my basic basic makeup. Like I don't go hardcore because I don't know what I'm doing. And yeah, the, I'm not even gonna touch my brows because I'm still learning how to do brows. But this will be my look. Not in these, but I wish I could just snap and I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think about the foundation? Does it fit well? Do you like how it looks? I know the lining is not the best, but I like it's lightweight. I think I will purchase this foundation. Let's see by the end of the night how it looks, but it fits onto my skin really well. And I just didn't have the money at the time to buy it because they actually had my shade in stock. Um, this was 470, so it's pretty good. If you have any more questions about anything else I used on my face, I'll probably do more little get ready with me, the makeup rookie. Okay. Subscribe. That's all I gotta say. Tell your friends, okay? This wig. I need a new wig, guys.